Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. I started shooting this right after I shot. <laughs> You'll notice the pink shirt. Anyway, it's a week later, or it's like 10 minutes later. Had some boxes show up. Got a, a really exciting edition of Friday's finds. And, and it's, it's actually going to be multi-channel. Uh, anyway, I got some boxes to open. Let's go open some boxes. Let's, let's look at, let's see what kind of stuff we got. All right, before we move on, we got to check on the girls. My, we here. We have a little, little tiny pot that has formed. We have a new one here. This one is, uh, she's got a new one right here. And then we have a, two new ones on, on this one. Actually a third one making there. Coming right along. Won't be long, I'll have to trim that down. And we do have two, uh, two bonsai trees have sprouted. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's open some boxes. Before we get into this Friday's finds, click the howdy button. Say hello. Tell me why you watch Friday's finds. Hey, y'all remember that cool little e-bike we just shot the video on that Yappy really loves. The one thing that she wasn't excited about was there's no place to put your stuff when you're going down to the showers or you're going to the market or just even the camp store. There's there's no basket. There's a rat, but there's no basket. So a company, <laughs> a company. A company and I can't read their name. A, a company reached out to me. Bike USA. I guess this Bike USA reached out to me and they said, hey! And I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, Yuppie, Yuppie's already expressed a desire for a basket. This is the CXWXC rear bike, rear bike basket. Comes with some stuff attached to it, bungee cords. So I'll be mounting this and we'll we'll give a we'll pass judgment on the I don't know, can't pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try. My tongue ain't gonna do it. And we got some mounting hardware. I'm really excited about this next one. I know I say that about a lot of stuff, but I'm really excited about this next one. Because you know, if you've been been watching in the background, you've been following along, you'll have noticed that we're making progress a little bit at a time. I really love my water features. I have two. I really love the water features because they attract the, the they attract dragonflies. And dragonflies eat so many mosquitoes and gnats and bugs. So having a water feature is crucial. Having a water feature is crucial to bringing those dragonflies into into do their job and eat other biting bugs. So, with that being said, you kind of got an idea of where we're going with this. So, dream yo. Dreamyo reached out and said, hey, we, we want to be on Friday's fines. And they sent me a package and they sent it to the other address and I had to go get it. And anyway, they have sent us the Dreamyo, hold on. They sent us a box. We 
we got we got more packages on the way, so we may not finish here. But it comes with a mesh mesh bag. This is a big submersible pump. This is a waterfall pump. Man, this is a seriously large pump. How many gallons per minute is this? 6,000 liters per <laughs> What is this right there? But it says 6,000, not 600. 6,000 liters per hour. As an algae filter. Wow. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So, with that being said, so since this is Friday's finds and this is not a building stuff video, this is a product highlight show. If you want to see the construction process, you're going to have to go to the RV Homestead Texas channel. And on that channel, I will be building a big water feature with that pump. So you're not going to get to see me doing all that, all the, the stuff for it. But I am going to show you because these items are also available on Amazon. So you're going to get to see the products used in the final process, the final product where we're talking about those items, those products. But what I'm going to use to build this water feature is my hot tub, my redneck hot tub that just the, the, I found that the bucket heaters, it's not a real, they don't last very long because you're heat, we're heating up you know, 110 gallons of water. So we're going to go with 110 gallons of, of water feature. We have a waterfall spillway. This is an eight inch wide and it's perfect. It's a pond or a waterfall up to 2,000 gallons per, per hour. So I think we've got that covered. And we're going to use some tubing, corrugated tubing. And then we're going to have a little, and we're going to have a little, up, 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 a small overflow area. So nine, an additional nine gallons. So we'll have a, a, pond, a little 110-gallon pond, a 9-gallon shelf, and a waterfall. Yeah. I got to go dig a hole, move some dirt. Oh, and I'm going to be using a Vivor. I'm going to be using Vivor landscaping fabric. So I'll tag, as I typically do, I'll add all this to the Friday's fine shopping list so you can see it. Let me go to work. Ran off and forgot the good camera, so we're working with the cell phone. We had a package arrive. This is from Toy Te... Toy Tepia... <laughs> how to pronounce it but anyway that is i'm pretty sure a walker bag fortunately we, we have a walker that we can use so let me set the camera down we'll do the unbox which is pretty simple actually work on about anything. Oh look. It's insulated so you can carry your cold water. Oh that's right handy there. Place to put a bottle of water there. Keep your cold lunch your lunch cold. Let me, let me figure out how to strap this on. I'll be back. 
we have it sorted out. This is a multi-configuration bag, so it's not just for the walker. It'll, it'll also work on bicycles, wheelchairs. We found that this is probably going to be the best configuration for this particular walker because it's a little wider and the bar pushes out. We have a phone, a couple bottles of water to keep you hydrated. It's really well made. I think it could stand to have some more. I think you're going to want to invest in maybe if, in a situation like this in some longer straps. Here we have configured for the back of the wheelchair. We still have the phone in place, a couple bottles of water so we stay hydrated. Let's go, let's go put it on a bicycle. Looks a little confusing from this perspective. So, several years back, I, uh, I came into a bunch of, bunch of landscaping stone. And I got the great idea one day to, to build my own water feature in the backyard. And, and so I used this tote and I took these four big rocks and drilled a hole, I stacked them, and then I started with a, a real long masonry bit. And I have a piece of 3 8 inch copper tube that runs up through the middle. And there's a little rock that goes here. And there's the pump that connects to the bottom down there. And it just, it's a pretty little water feature. It's a heavy water feature. <laughs> Those are not like sandstone rocks. So I've just got the, the big the big waterfall pump sitting right below the waterfall uh, for the moment. I needed the space clear over here, but I'm going to relocate it. Since my cord for this pump is short, I'm going to need a cord brought around here. Or here somewhere I'll figure it out and I'll come back to you a little basket makes a heck of a difference I mean that that's a lot of cargo space well considering there was none but now we've got a basket it included the cargo net and I, what I thought was a liner is actually a, a rain cover so you can keep your stuff dry but that, that, that's a lot of cargo space. I like that. You know, Yeppy's going to like it on her bike too. She's going to be really excited when she sees that. All right. Move it off. We got water flowing. So it's been 24 hours and I've not lost any. So the levels only drop a little bit. But that's evaporation. I'm excited about the pond project. All right, we'll check back in on it. We gotta go look at some more stuff. We're moving lots of water. And even if I didn't have that in the middle, this would be a really cool fountain with water features. All we need now are some marginal plants in here and some stuff to cover that around there and it'll, it'll fit right in all right i'm done with it until i get something on the to cover all my landscaping cloth now this this is a geotextile that's used it's a road base material same material that i put under this pad and it's the heaviest geotextile that I can find. It's from Vivor. And it was purchased on Amazon. So I will provide you with links to all of these products in the description, in the description below. And I'll put a link in the card up there. 
that'll take you to the dude rv gear recommendations page and the friday's finds specific shopping list except for what i built there that i already had you want the little fountain that's on there that's a, actually a really cool little solar floating fountain and I, they come in packs of two and i'm thinking about putting one over there just just cause actually put it in that one y'all ready to see it it's the big reveal actually been several days made a trip to mom's and that's where the uh that's where i did that unboxing unpackaging of the walker bag uh we're gonna take a look at that on the anyway and here we are mounted on the e-bike uh, yapping's really gonna like that put a phone in there drinks yeah she already expressed excitement about it let's take a look at this the finished well <laughs> you're never finished with a water feature but where we currently are the status the current status is awesome that pump is awesome we're moving lots of water, keeping it fresh. The waterfall aerates it. Of course, we get a little aeration going here. So we don't need to, since I don't have any fish or plants, we really don't need to filter it at this point. But it has, it has made a dramatic improvement. I'm seeing the large green dragonflies now. They, they swing by here a couple times a day. They're laying their eggs in there. So I'm excited about the water feature. It just really looks good. With just the pond, the the water trough, the little stream and the, the box, we're at about $200 total. Not too bad considering when we, when we, that was a birthday present, the waterfall was a birthday present for, for Yappy. That was a $600 water feature. We're real happy with it. And that brings us to the end of this ponding edition of Friday's Finds, Biking in a Pond. I am an Amazon influencer and I do earn revenue off of purchases. So the links that I will provide you with will take you to Amazon. Up, up in the card, as well as in the description, you'll find a link that will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear recommendation page. That's all of the, the products that I have reviewed on Friday's Finds. And you'll also see other products on that page that don't make it to Friday's Finds. In the description, you'll have that link as well as the individual product links so that you're not having to surf all the videos on the, the shopping list. So all of those items will be available. I know the vendors would appreciate you stopping by. That helps them and me because the more people that come visit them through my links, uh, the more products they send for me to work with. So it helps us out by getting to get more content if you click on those links. And if you do make a purchase, thank you. Your business is most appreciated. We do appreciate your business. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That really helps with that algorithm that's not very friendly to small channels. If you've already subscribed, thank you. I truly appreciate your, your, your time and your attention. And for our patrons, cannot say it enough. Thank you for your generosity. You guys rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?